Vsauce, Kevin here. Chewing gum is banned in Singapore. No gum is allowed to be bought or sold unless it's prescribed by a doctor, and the ban was instituted due to vandals sticking chewed gum on the door sensors of public transit trains, as well as floors, sidewalks, elevator buttons, and inside keyholes. So no more gum. In 2011, the French government reformed school and university cafeterias by banning ketchup. In order to preserve the tradition of French cuisine, they no longer wanted the French youth masking the flavor of their food with the American condiment. However, there is still one food they're allowed to use ketchup on, french fries. Beach Grove, Indiana has a law against eating watermelon in the park. It's one of those unenforced old laws still on the books, but the ordinance was originally enacted because watermelon rinds were puncturing garbage bags and creating a mess. So they banned watermelon eating entirely in parks. New York City tried to ban large soft drinks, so Mississippi responded by banning bans on large soft drinks. The governor signed the bill in 2013, stating it's not the role of government to micro-regulate citizens' dietary decisions. Meanwhile, Mississippi has the highest obesity rate in the United States. Horse meat. Horses are considered pets, companions, and workers in the US, UK, and many English-speaking countries, so eating them is taboo. But countries like China, Mexico, and Italy eat a lot of horse meat. Dog food manufacturers in the US stopped using horse meat in the 70s, and although it's commonly thought that gelatin is made from horse hooves, it's mostly made from pig skin, which is pretty gross. The Salmon Act of 1986 in the UK deals with handling salmon in suspicious circumstances. And a Welsh pub owner was charged for doing just that in 2009 when wild salmon was found in her freezer. At which point she told inspectors she bought said salmon from an unidentified man. Thereby guilty of handling salmon in suspicious circumstances. Sassafras was used for flavoring traditional root beer until the FDA determined it might cause cancer. Saffron which is extracted from the root bark is regarded as a weak carcinogen in rats, so artificial flavors were invented to replace it in root beer. However, you can find some root beers in which the saffron is removed, but the oil from the sassafras roots is still used for flavor. Finally, the UK government is trying to get the US to overturn its import ban on traditional Scottish haggis. The problem is that the US doesn't currently allow one of its key ingredients in food products sheep lungs. And as always, thanks for watching.